if you have a smartphone and you have this thing, then you have an automotive Bluetooth diagnostic device. But in all seriousness, we have ourselves a ThinkCar BD6. But what is this thing? We're going to find that out. Let's get started right now. Hey everyone, this is Tom with Fresh Finish Garage. Today we're checking out the ThinkCar. ThinkCar, it says it twice. BD6, this is a Bluetooth scan tool. Big shout out and props to ThinkCar for sending this over and sponsoring this video. Uh, this is a Bluetooth scan tool, which means you need a smartphone, Android, iOS device to actually connect to their app and uh, connect to this. And then this goes into your OBD2 port on your car. Um, we're going to open this up and take a look at it. Quick rundown, uh, it does code reading. OBD2 codes on your car will actually read and clear them. It calls it live data graphing streaming. So I'm kind of curious what that means and what that is, but we're gonna find out when we plug into our car behind us here. This also comes with five resets, oil light reset, ABS bleeding, parking brake, key immobilization programming, which take that one with a grain of salt because that we've always kind of found that to be a big gray area and it's not like a blanket coverage. Uh, and then also it does a throttle adaptation uh, reset, if I remember correctly. Um, it does have free lifetime updates on this. We're gonna do a few things. We're gonna get this unboxed. So let me get this unboxed and I'll show you what is actually inside here. Third time's a charm, the plastic was tight and I just ripped the box. Okay, sorry about that folks. That thing's in there. If you buy this thing, make sure, uh, just be advised, that thing is in the box. So you're probably gonna struggle with getting it out of there. But this is the overall unit right here. We have our OBD2 ports, obviously. And then on the bottom here, we have our Bluetooth, our power, and then like a trouble or error or something, the red there. But uh, this is pretty much it. That's everything that's in the box. There's paperwork that no one ever reads. So. We're gonna go ahead and download the app, make sure the firmware is 100% updated on this, and then plug into our 2020 Outback. We're looking for a few things. We wanna see, can you buy more software on this? How far does the uh, current diagnostics and the software that comes with this out of the box, like how far does it let us get into the computer systems on the car? Uh, we also wanna see, is it live data graphing or is it just data streaming? Is it just giving you the actual numbers or raw numbers out of the computers in the car? But uh, let's go ahead and jump into our Outback. Let's do that right now. So we are here in our 2020 Subaru Outback. And uh, what we wanna do is just kinda of get a feel for what all this software can do. And you can see it on the screen here, but um, this is the main homepage. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice app, it's pretty smooth. You know, it works well so far from what we've seen. Let me just show a few things real quick before we get into the diagnostics. So just stick with us. Um, you can see all the different software here if you were going to potentially buy software. This is all showing free, right? Like, like right now we just downloaded, let me just show you. We downloaded the Subaru. There's a Subaru diagnostic software. Uh, it says free lifetime software updates. So uh, is it free forever? Like, can you get this free software in five years? That's a question mark. But for right now it says free software, like lifetime software updates. I'm guessing that's mainly firmware and your basic OBD2 code reading, but just keep that in mind. But the Think Store here does let you download all, like you can see all of the different software here. Um, quickly going through here, there's also a, like a social media, which I don't doubt many people would use. There's a service and help section, and then there's your account information there. So looking at the main page, we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's go to all system diagnostics at the top here. And it's saying VIN decoding, and then there's your VIN. So let's go to our Subaru software that we already downloaded. And you'll probably hear it beep. There we go, just beep. So it just connected to my phone into the app. And we'll give it a second here to, there we go, just beeped again. Okay, so it's asking us area select, which is basically we just wanna choose the US. Obviously this is a global tool but uh, it is definitely very well versed in the North American United States market. Uh, 2020 Outback, that's what we have. So we're gonna choose yes. There's our VIN on the screen. And we're gonna choose Outback. So looking at the screen here, we have health report, system scan, and system selection. Uh, I'm gonna do the health report. Let me click on this. And honestly, while I talk to kill time, 
Um, what this is going to do is just touch every single computer in the car. It's going to look and ID what computers exist and if they're communicating properly and if there's any kind of fault codes with them. So if you want to just, you know, say, hey, top to bottom, inside and out, what's going on with the car? Are there any issues? Like you're getting ready for an inspection or something like that, or you're getting ready to sell the car, or maybe you're thinking of buying a car. You take this thing with you, hit the button, and it'll kind of give you a clean bill of health, or it'll say, well, you have these three things, and that's, um, that's something you can talk to, you know, the, the negotiation tool and the purchase price of the car. But uh, you can see it's reading pretty quickly. We found a lot of these newer scan tools actually uh, process much faster because the computers in this thing and this 2020 Outback are far quicker than like a 2005 CRV that I have. So um, here's our actual uh, diagnostic trouble codes and our final reporting. So this is saying we actually have, uh, interesting, so it says we have body control unit, we have three data, data trouble codes. So we have a battery, backup power supply, ignition power, and ACC power. So those are all in the past. I'm wondering if those triggered at some point, maybe because the uh, the battery got replaced in the car or something like that. But uh, let's see what else is in here. Let's go to the uh, front relay control module. Let's see what's in here. It says there's three data trouble codes in there. I just want to click on that and see what this does. Okay, so uh, interesting. It's um, saying we're getting a front relay control module power supply. So these things look like they say the past they don't say current so if you have a uh, vehicle just um, let me click back out of here if you have a vehicle that you're thinking about buying or you you know you want to know what's going on with your own vehicle great way to go here i'm not going to click on system scan or system selection a system scan is going to do the same thing as the health report except it's not going to give you a report it's just going to give you a readout of uh, yes it talked to every computer in the car and uh, it uh, it gave it a thumbs up or there was an issue uh, real quick, I did click on system selections. You see you can get into the different actual um, deeper parts of the car. Now, right now, this is, I believe this is just going to show us code reading and then data graphing. So uh, let me do click read a fault code. So there's no diagnostic codes, no current ones anyway. And I want to read the data stream. So this is the live data stream graphing that we were talking about uh, earlier in the video. Uh, I want to see what this actually shows because I think this will graph, but I also want to actually see it, physically see it with my own two eyes kind of thing. So we'll let this read here and communicate with the car. Okay, so you can see we have, I won't scroll through all of these, but you can see all the data coming off of the vehicle here. I'm just going to go ahead and click select all and then OK. And... Yeah, here we go. So we have quite a bit of stuff coming off of the car, off the computer. And the cool thing is, is this is doing both. This is what I, I, I was wondering if this is what it would do. It's live data graphing streaming, so to speak. So you're getting a live data stream coming out of the, the car. Like if you look at absolute throttle position and I'm pushing the gas pedal, I'm at 50% uh, now. So, but if we want to do the graphing, we touch on the right-hand side of the screen, and you can see where I was pressing the gas pedal there. And uh, we'll do this for a few more. Let me see if I can find engine RPMs. Every time I go down, I will make a note there. You can see on the screen it keeps reconnecting to the car. So you'd probably have to it'd take a little bit of patience just to get down to where you're trying to get to engine speed so you can see zero rpm let's go ahead and turn the car on here i'll put my foot on the brake and so here is our engine starting time there's our engine speed let me just hit the graph button okay let me just hit the hit the gas pedal and there's our engine rpm so pretty uh pretty handy feature there all things considered let me jump out of here. I'm going to hit the exit in the top right corner of the screen. And there's the maintenance functions on the screen here. Let me click this. So these are the ones I was talking about earlier. Oil, immobilization. I'll, I can't stress enough. Um, if you see a scan tool such as this, uh, and I'll make a note. If you see a $5,000 scan tool saying it programs keys, I'd personally, after our own personal experience on Fresh Finish Garage, I'd be more inclined to believe that versus this not that there's anything wrong with this scan tool but take 
key programming and immobilization with a grain of salt. Some of these things only do a few specific keys. Some of them only do forward. Some of them only do like 2015 to 2017 fill in the blank Nissan or whatever. So it's very much not a unified, uniform system like OBD2 code reading is. So all that to say, um, we have oil reset, we have immobilization key programming, elect electronic, forgive me, throttle, uh, like adaption or resetting, ABS brake bleeding, and then the parking brake itself. And you can see I haven't downloaded any of them, but if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and download those and it just will shut off the oil uh, reset light, for example, with the software. Uh, OBD2 functions, let's go right in there. We're gonna reconnect to the car. Sorry, I'm leaving the car running because if I turn it off, it's gonna cut the connection, the Bluetooth connection between the, uh, the actual BD6 and the phone. So we'll just leave it running the rest of the video. So this is uh, loading here and we'll just let it load. There we go. It's going through the different protocols that are used around the globe and you can see the MIL, the malfunction indicator lamp, basically the check engine lights off and I'm gonna go ahead and click enter. So let's read some fault codes. So this is looking more and more like uh, the system we were just in, the all diagnostics area of the software. Uh, so we have no fault codes, so that's great to see. And let's go in here and take a look. Let's see, read live data. So my guess is, yeah, this is the exact same thing we just saw. So here's our reading our live data and you can actually combine these forgive me i did not mention that earlier so i'm going to hit combine let's combine a few of these there we go oh i can only do four so up to four it looks like so i'm going to hit now that's a nice function seeing that on the screen that's impressive because we have the different we have the gas pedal so i did the gas pedal twice sorry um airflow rate from the mass airflow sensor and then the ambient air temperature so Obviously the green one there, it's saying it's 82 degrees out, which that feels about right, but you can see I'm just blipping the throttle a little bit there. Pretty neat to see if you're chasing that like oddball electrical issue or that random thing that's, uh, that's not working right. To say, let me jump back out to the main page here. Okay, so there's the main page. There's a few other things we just wanted to point out in here. If you made a report, uh, if you, you know, actually did several cars, maybe you had a, uh, like a fleet of cars or something, you just use this thing to just turn the check engine lights and the, the, uh, the oil reset lights off or something like a rental car place or something. It gives you the reporting so you can actually see what you did, the codes that maybe came up and uh, the timeline of anything involved. Uh, the Think Store is a little bit of everything in here. This is kind of where you can purchase the software like we were talking about earlier. Um, let me go back to the main page here, the gadget. There's actually other different ThinkCar products that are in here. And I'm kind of wondering, facilitate your vehicle maintenance. Is it, yeah, it's just turning on the flashlight on the phone. I kind of figured that's what it was, but, um, so it says recall record. So let's actually click on that. See if this tells you, okay, so you'd have to plug in. We're not going to plug into your make and model, but it looks like it'll actually give you current recalls. So kind of a nice feature there. Vehicle safety ratings. I'm not going to click on that, but you get the idea there. So. And then uh, diagnostic history, so you can see where you scanned the, uh, the Subaru a few times. And let's take a look at the, here's a little bit more of the actual uh, social media that they have. And then if you needed to reach out, you could actually reach out to them here and communicate with them. So nice that they're giving you that option in case you have some kind of issue or the car is not working right with the car or the uh, scan tool or whatever. You know, wrapping up the video, let me turn the car off here. Um, wrapping up the video, this is a nice unit. Uh, if you're looking for a quick, let me get it out of the OBD2 port here. If you're looking for a quick, easy tool to just keep in your glove box, uh, maybe if you have several cars, you're just looking for something fast to turn that oil light off after you do an oil change, or you know, your check engine light pops up and you wanna have the app on your phone, definitely keep that in mind, you need to have an actual, um, phone, an Android or iOS phone. I think it's Android 9. I'm sorry, iOS 9 and Android 10, if memory serves correct, but it needs to be newer versions of uh, the, you know, the different operating systems. So all that to say, nice little unit. We'll leave the link for this in the description of the video you're watching now. 
And uh, we've actually tested quite a few of these things, so we'll leave several other ones in that same description. So you can check them out, make the informed decision if you're interested in buying one of these. But with that, if you like uh, scan tools, if you like shop equipment, if you like keeping your cars certified fresh and on the road, Fresh Vintage Garage, your channel. Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.